In this video, I am going to show you the new screen recorder in Windows 11. So with the new major update, 22H2, Windows 11 now has a built-in screen recorder. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into it. So now, we can screen record using the app ClipChamp. So if you've already updated your laptop to the latest version, then you can just search for it in the start menu and it'll come. But if you don't have it yet, it's extremely simple to download. You'll have to go to the Microsoft Store and then just search for ClipChamp on top. So this is how the app looks and you'll have to install it. Once you open ClipChamp, you'll reach this page and over here, you have a few options to record your screen. So as you can see, they've said start with a recording and you can decide if you only want to record your screen, that's this option over here, or if you want to record your screen and camera. So in this option, your camera will be in a small box in the bottom left. So for now, I'll select screen and camera. And here my camera has come at the bottom left. And if I want to make it bigger, I can just click on this button over here. And as you can see, it's become bigger. Then again from here, you can change the microphone and camera. And then when you want to record, just click on this red button over here, which is to record. And one thing you'll have to note is that the limit is 30 minutes. So now I'll just record. After this, you'll have to decide which screen you'll want to share. So you have three options. You can share the entire screen, only a certain window, or only a tab. So for now, I'll select entire screen. So I'll just click on this, and then click on share to start screen recording. And now you can see that it started recording. And to stop it, I can just click on stop sharing that's over here. Now I've gone back to ClipChamp, and from here, you can save the recording or edit it if you want. So I'll click on save and edit. And as you can see, it's come here with my face on the bottom left. And if I want to make it bigger, I can just resize it. So you have all of the controls over here. And after this, you have many more options. So on the left, you can see all the options which you have, like templates, adding music, or if you want some stock videos or images, you can do all of that from here. And once you're done, just click on export, which is on the top right over here. Then you can select the quality. So now the video is exported. And if you want to save it, you can just click on save to your computer. Or if you want to share it, then you can just go through this list over here. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know how to install Android apps in Windows 11, then check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.